Blessings black people, this is Queen's sister, and we're here September 24th. This is uh, Village Vanguard Week, and today is Darion Albert's Day, uh, and it will always be recognized here in the village. We're here at the site where the incident happened as we've returned every year since. I'd like to bring to your attention, though, the fact that the wall that we usually uh, set as memorial at is, is gone. When we began to contact the alderman regarding a mural uh, in his honor and in his name, <laughs> rather than approve it and permit the a community beautification project, uh, they tore the wall down. The wall is, is now, as you can see, there's the Agape Center and the wall is, uh, it's, it's gone. And for some reason, the individuals that have prospered from this baby's demise think that by taking down the wall, the issue will go away, and it's, it's not. Darion Albert lives. He lives in the village, and he lives in the hearts of, of his family, uh, people. But I just don't want, I don't want you to be confused. I want you to be certain. You know, when they're saying uh, that they they want to stop the violence, uh, it, it, this is not. It's big money. It's big money. They want to improve the neighborhood. Carrie Austin has had 20 years to improve the neighborhood. And our community perish because she has never had a vision for the 34th War. Uh, that's the bottom line. The wall is gone, and we will find a place uh, for his mural in the 34th Ward. But don't think that you won't be held accountable. I think they think if the wall's gone, that uh, we won't think about them. And the wall represents the accountability. You're going to have to be accountable for the money. And it's sad because millions of dollars has gone through the hands of, of several organizations why his mother has not received a dime uh, and the village does not and cannot prosper on, on blood money so as we move forth uh, because there's no statute of limitations on, on the way we finna bring it and the way we finna do but the one thing you did not hear about black people is the hundred African American young people that woke up every morning prior to this baby being beat to death and the alderman was informed and the mayor daily was informed prior to it happening happening and uh they ignored it and done nothing he, he didn't have to die if they just had to paid attention to what was happening in the streets from those of us that are are not afraid to walk the streets and that's the other problem we got politicians in the community that uh that uh, that are scared to walk the streets of, of the hood. 